Now, later this month, thousands of people who are too ill or disabled to work will lose almost £100 a week in the latest round of benefits cuts. Well, the government's withdrawing employment support allowance from claimants who've been on it for more than a year. Almost half of them will get nothing to replace it. Paul Lewis from Radio 4's Moneybox is here to explain. Morning, Morning. Paul. So Morning. Why Hello. is the government doing this? Well, what the government says is that this benefit was never intended to be a long-term benefit. It was always designed to help this particular group of people who, who they think can get back to work with some help uh, get back to work, and they think a year is a reasonable time. Um, it will also, incidentally, save them an estimated billion pounds. It could be more, um, but it's, as you say, it's a lot of people, 100,000 people, and they'll be losing... £99.15 a week, and that's really going to have quite a bad effect on them. You've been speaking to people who are directly affected. Yes. What sort of people are they? What sort of stories have you been hearing? Well, if you look at the government, uh, the government documents, that 30% of them have what they call mental or behavioural problems. So these are people with some sort of mental illness. Mm. And about a fifth of them have musculoskeletal, which is you know arthritis and problems moving mm. and that kind of thing. Now, I was talking to uh, a woman called Amanda a few days ago. Now, she has a mental illness. She was bullied at work. She can't go back to work at the moment. Now, she has a partner. He works, but he's in a very low-paid job. He brings in about £170 a week. Mm. Um, and with her £99 and another £20 disability benefit, they, they just about get by. But if she loses that £99, that will be a third of their income going disappearing. Mm -hmm. And this is happening bang on the 30th of April for 100,000 people who've been on this benefit for a year. And the only hope they have is that they can try and get a bit more help with their rent, a bit more help with their council tax. But that will do nothing to replace the £99. And she said that she was, if she looked at all the things they had to spend, you know, on um, bills and rent and so on, mm. that they would be five pounds a week in deficit before they'd bought any food so they have a real problem. Was well, there any other help that Amanda can get then? Well as I said they might be able to get help, extra help with rent, they might be able to get extra help with council tax because their income will be lower um, and the irony is that if her partner worked a bit longer he can only work 25 hours a week. If he worked 30 hours or more he might be able to get working tax credit but he can't get that extra work and he can't get any more money, he can't get any better paid work. Um, so if he worked a bit longer, they'd mm -hmm. get quite a bit more. And they say, actually, they'd be better off if he didn't work at all. Though, of course, that's not a choice, because to get benefits if you're fit, you have to work. Does everyone on this benefit face this cut-off of no. the 30th? It, it's the people in what's called the work-related activity group. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of new terms mm -hmm. in this new benefit. Will they be clear who they are? Well, they will have been written to. They're right. the people who the government thinks can work with some help. Now, at one time, we thought that would be a sort of two- to five-year process. The government's now saying it should be one year. If you're in what's called the support group, in other words, you have no hope of ever working again, it doesn't apply. And if, you're, if you have no other income at all, no partner or your partner doesn't work, you can get a means-tested version. But for these people, 100,000 in April, eventually, over the next few years, 700,000 people will find this benefit just disappears, and it's going to be very, very hard for them. And briefly, what's the government have to say? Well, as I said, they say that this was never intended to be a long-term benefit, that it's a balance between what taxpayers pay and what people gain, uh, and they believe that with help, these people can be got back into work. But, of course, they've been, off, they've been on the benefit a year already, the ones who'll be affected, and that hasn't worked. And, of course, with the job market as it is, people with any sort of problem find it hardest mm. to get the jobs that are available. You're coming back, aren't you? It's um, just after 8 o'clock. Yes, or... just after 8, and people tweet. I've had lots already, but right. people can tweet me with their views or email the programme, mm. and I'll be reporting back later on in, in on the morning. Great. Paul, thank you very much.